Hi there. Now before we start part D here, just a reminder of the previous part, part C. Remember we had this function f of x which equaled 25x squared e to the power 2x minus 16 where x was any real number and we were told that the equation f of x equals 0 had a root alpha where alpha equaled 0 0.5 to one decimal place. And in part C, we started with a first approximation, x0 equaling 0 0.5, and used this iterative formula to get other approximations, x1, x2, x3, to alpha. And we had to give our answers to three decimal places. And I've listed them here. Now, in part D, we're asked to give an accurate estimate for alpha to two decimal places and justify your answer for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back you might want to fast forward or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, to appreciate this, I'm just going to draw a set of axes like so. Not that you have to do this, but uh, I think it might help. Now we've found our approximations here. We found that x0, let's say, was this point here, x equaling 0 0.5. And then the next approximation, x1, was 0.485 to the left of x0. Let's just say we put it there. That was x1. x2 was slightly more than x1, but less than x0. So we'll have x2 here. And then when we found x3, it was less than x2, but more than x1. So it's going to be, say, there. So our root, alpha, is somewhere then between x2 and x3. So when I look at x2 and x3, I'm thinking that that root then is most probably going to be alpha equals 0.49 to two decimal places. Now I've got to justify that. So in order to justify this, if we've got our root 0.49 to two decimal places, then I'm going to look at the value before it to three decimal places. That would be 0 0.485. And then I'm going to look at the other end here to three decimal places, 0 0.4. 9.5. And now I'm going to work out what f of each of these values are and hope for a change of sign so that I know that the graph would have crossed in this interval. Okay, so we'll do f of 0 0.485 and f of 0 0.495. And when you put 0 0.485, through your equation here for x, you should find you get a negative value, minus 0 0.4872 and so on. And when you put 0.495 through your equation up here, you'll find you get a positive value and it turns out to be 0 0.4854 and so on. So we've got then our graph would have started from a negative point below the x-axis here, worked its way up, crossing here to a positive value. So we've got our root alpha somewhere in between this interval. So therefore, we can state then that it must be 0.49 then to two decimal places. And we need to justify it, so I kind of have here, but I'm just going to finish that off by saying that since there's a sign change, okay, since there's a sign change, then alpha must equal 0.49 to two decimal places, 2dp for short. All right?